two disciples on the road to Emmaus. On the third day after Jesus was crucified and put in the tomb, two of his disciples were walking along a road out of Jerusalem. One of them was Cleopas. They were on their way to a village called Emmaus, seven miles out of the city. They were talking about the events that led to Jesus being hung on the cross. As they talked, a man came up and walked alongside them. It was Jesus, but they were kept from recognizing him. The stranger asked, What are you talking about? They stopped, stood still, a look of sadness on their faces. Cleopas asked, Are you the only person in Jerusalem who does not know what has happened? What has happened? The stranger asked. Jesus of Nazareth was handed over by the chief priests to be sentenced to death and they crucified him, the disciples explained. We hoped that he would save us. But then, this morning when some of our women went to the tomb, it was empty. His body was missing. Some of our friends went to the tomb to see what had happened and it was definitely empty. Do you not to believe what the prophet said would happen many years ago? They told us the Savior, Messiah, would have to suffer before rising to glory. Then the stranger explained how first Moses and other prophets had written that the Savior of the world would die and then rise from the dead. As they approached Emmaus the stranger looked as if he was traveling on further. They invited him to stay with them and he agreed. As they ate together, the stranger took the bread, broke it, and gave it to them. Immediately, God allowed the two disciples to see the stranger was Jesus. Then at that moment he disappeared from their sight. They asked each other. Weren't our hearts warmed as he spoke to us and explained what is written about the Savior? They then got up and rushed back to Jerusalem. They found the other disciples and excitedly told them what had happened. It is true. The Lord has risen. They told what had happened on the road, and how Jesus was recognized by them when he broke the bread. Suddenly Jesus appeared and stood among them. Peace be with you he said. Everyone was frightened, thinking they were seeing a ghost. Why are you afraid and in doubt Jesus asked. Look at my hands and feet. Touch me and see. It's me. He then showed the disciples his wounds, from when he was nailed to the cross. The disciples were full of joy and amazement, but still could not really believe Jesus was alive. Do you have anything to eat? Jesus asked. They gave him some broiled fish and he ate it in their presence to prove that he was indeed real and not a ghost. Jesus opened their minds so they could understand from the scriptures that it was written that he would suffer, die, and then rise from the dead on the third day. And repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. I am going to send you what my Father has promised, but stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. Then Jesus disappeared from their sight once more. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. Share and leave a comment. Subscribe.